it's me and today we are watching a true story animation about a guy who's dating a billionaire girl billionaire with a B I had been working as a driver for this rich boy called Brian and one day while I was sitting at the side of the pool outside their mansion he and his friends jumped in splashing water all over me at first I was mad but then more people joined the pool party and among them was the Juliet my Romeo my guy First of all, you're at a rich boy's pool party. Don't want to get splashed? Don't sit next to the pool. Brain cells. Use them. Her name was Victoria, and she was just so perfect. She turned to me and smiled before jumping into the pool. And I swear I felt my heart jump out of my chest. Suddenly, she screamed in pain, and the water around her started turning red. Hi, my name is Caleb. No, 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 Caleb, wait, 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 what? Does she have an open wound? Did she transform into a demon? Did she die? Caleb, I need some answers. Victoria was screaming as everyone else around her laughed. I immediately dove into the pool. I asked if she was okay, but Brian and the others were still laughing. It was just a prank for her TikTok, loser. I turned to Victoria and saw she was smiling with one eyebrow raised. That was attractive, but stay away from me, idiot. She really pulled up. Baka. Mm. Y'all poured paint in a pool for a TikTok? How would you get it out? Brian wanted to drive Victoria home, and during the ride, I stole a glance at her through the rearview mirror, only to see that she was also looking right at me. Suddenly, Brian moved closer and whispered, Wake up, dummy. If I see you looking at her like that again, I swear. That is so awkward when you're like looking in your rearview mirror, and then you like make eye contact with the person. <coughs> and then the fact that he actually caught him looking like, Bro, I was trying to look at the cars behind. What are you talking about? Ain't nobody trying to steal your girl. That night when I got home, I was shocked to see my little sister Candace sleeping on the top of the fridge. My mom told me she won't come down unless I give her ice cream. What a baby. Y'all already know that's the youngest child. I'm gonna sleep in the fridge because you don't give me ice cream, my parents, okay? Sleep on the fridge. You can sleep in the fridge, on top of the fridge, on the streets. It don't matter, you ain't getting no ice cream. One night, I drove Brian and Victoria to a party. An hour had passed when I saw her coming out of the door with a guy, and I noticed she looked uncomfortable. The jerk started pulling her hand and trying to kiss her. I got out of the car and ran towards them. I pulled Victoria away and shouted, Get off her, man! What? Did y'all see that? He just went up to her and was like, Doosh! He told her to back off. Caleb, don't! But I was furious. The dimwit then shoved me to the ground, making me scrape my elbow. I got up and was about to punch it, but Rachel and the others came out and stopped me. I stormed off and got back into the car. Victoria joined me a little later and started helping me with my small scratch on my elbow. You didn't have to do that, Caleb, but I wasn't listening to her. All I could hear was the loud beating of my heart as I stared at her beautiful face up close. I'm trying to figure out what anime storyline this is. Uh, he has major main character vibes. And also, but what are you doing? Wrapping a scrape through a hoodie sleeve. That's like putting a band-aid on my shirt. Like, oh, my heart, it hurts. One day, I went home to our landlord screaming at my mom. He was throwing her things outside. I ran to hug my mom and desperately asked for another extension. When he finally agreed, I was forced to get another job as a part-time janitor. Do the rich people not pay him much? Like he's a personal driver for a family of billionaires. Do they not get paid much? One afternoon, Brian, Victoria, and their other friends came in. Hey Brian, we didn't know that your driver was a janitor too. I waited for Victoria to say something, but she avoided eye contact with me. Fake as hell, she like, I don't know him. I ain't never seen him in my life. I didn't bandage his wounds through a hoodie sleeve. Brian then called me over. Hey, loser, clean this up. He started pouring all of their drinks on the floor. They were all laughing at me, except for Victoria, who kept herself busy on her phone. Everyone suddenly fell silent as someone approached their table. It was my boss, Brian's dad. He told them, I don't think that's how we treat people. He then apologized to me privately and promised to arrange a scholarship program for me at Brian's school. Ooh, sometimes it pays to get bullied. <laughs> Billionaires want to bully me and buy me a new car, maybe pay for my scholarship. I take apologies in the form of cash. <laughs> Brian and Victoria were shocked a month later when I was introduced as a new student to their class. I suddenly bumped into Victoria and before I could react, she shoved me into a janitor's closet. I asked, what, what are you doing? She gave me a half smile and before leaving the closet, she kissed me on the cheek. Whoa! How did this happen? She's been ignoring him for literally years. Mm. I barely know this boy exists. I made eye contact with him a few times. And then suddenly, oh, he goes to my school now. He's one of us. <laughs> Pristine. 
prestigious. Time to make my move. One day, our science teacher paired me up with Victoria for a project. But to my surprise, Victoria requested a different partner. As I was about to leave the room, she walked up to me and said, I hate you. She suddenly leaned in and kissed me on the lips. What is this? I smell BPD. Victoria, why are you playing games with him like that? Like, like, do you like him or not? In front of people, she pretends to like hate him. She's like ashamed of him. Like, I can't be dating him. And then in private, it's like, make love to me with your crusty janitor lips. Victoria then held my hand and giggled as we ran out of school. A black limo stopped in front of us, and I gasped when she shoved me inside. Am I being kidnapped? You're really cute. Now, take me somewhere else. Suddenly, feeling brave, I told her driver to take us to my secret hideout. When we got there, we sat next to each other silently for a while. I finally decided to give in to my heart's desire and kissed her, but then she said she wanted our relationship to be a secret. She promised me that she'd tell everyone soon. Her parents would hate her if they found out. I mean, the relationship is weird. It's like, yeah, I am crazy in love with my family's ex-driver, the dude who got bullied into a scholarship. Y'all play too much. I tried my best to make her happy, but whenever she was around her squad, she treated me like I didn't exist. She got angry with me because I wasn't answering her calls. I told her my phone was broken. She turned up with the latest iPhone, which came with a bonus, a key to a Porsche. You also need brand clothes, bags, watches. We have to go shopping later. What? So is this what it's like dating somebody rich? Like, I need you to fit in. So like, here's a brand new Porsche, brand new iPhone, got himself a billionaire GF. No 75 year old coochie necessary. We headed to this high end shopping mall after class. Rachel asked, hey girl, what are you doing here with Brian's driver? I don't know, he kept following me and begging me to buy him clothes. <laughs> Rachel whispered back, aw, he's a hopeless case, girl. She gave me a disgusted look and they all walked away, taking Victoria with them. I was furious, but that instantly changed when she sent me a message saying, just stay right there. I'm going to the police to report you for stealing my heart. <laughs> be terrified. This girl is unpredictable. You don't know what she gonna do. When you got money that begins with a B, they can get rid of your body. No questions asked. Be very afraid. Later, I left McDonald's and got a new job as a waiter in a five-star restaurant. I was shocked to see who had just come in. It was Victoria and her parents. It was my first time seeing them. How the hell would they accept a guy like me for their princess? I accidentally <gasps> spilled a drink on her dad's shirt. Look what you've done. Ooh. Where's your manager? Dad, calm down. He's Caleb. And he's my friend. I would be pouring this dude's drink like, <laughs> Stick to friends from your circle, young lady. Victoria started to cry. The next day when I woke up, I noticed that my mom was talking to someone, Victoria's mom. I listened to their conversation from the stairs. This is a warning. Keep your son away from my daughter or else. Dang. Nobody wants them to be together. Renounce your billionaire status. I didn't go to school for a few days and ignored Victoria's calls. She showed up to our house and forced me to come with her. She apologized about her dad. Suddenly, someone appeared from the tall grass. It was Brian. We in the hot springs, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, and this dude is just gonna like pop his head out the bushes and be like, v -v victoria I immediately lowered my head into the water. I came up for breath after a while. Brian was trying to kiss my girlfriend. Victoria pushed him. Stop it, Brian. How did you even know I was here? I've been tracking your phone. Instead uh -oh. of being mad, Victoria just said, I'm tired. I want to go home now. Later that night, I took my phone out and checked Instagram. I saw Rachel's stories, and then there were other stories that showed Victoria getting chummy with Brian. Scumbag! I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, my guy is like clearly in a place where he doesn't belong. And it's like nobody wants him there. If it was me, I would have just been like, bye. Back to private school. Can I sell my scholarship? Is that a thing? Cash it out? I don't know, man. I would be out of there. We had a huge fight the next day because of Brian, and I told her I would not be attending her birthday. It was all a lie, though. I wanted to surprise her by turning up at her birthday and telling her parents how serious I was about her. How to get her parents' approval. Firm handshake. Yes. It was an exclusive, formal party in their mansion. I rented a suit and bought an expensive bouquet of roses for her. My heart was beating out of my chest as I entered their mansion. I felt breathlessness when I finally saw Victoria. She looked so drop-dead gorgeous in her beautiful red dress. Red? But that was orange. When I noticed she was still busy talking to Brian and her parents' visitors, they did I met her mom's me. eyes across the room. She glared at me. She then whispered something to Victoria's dad. And moments later, the father walked up to the front, only to announce something that made my world come crashing down. Brian and Victoria were getting engaged. 
<gasps> what? I waited for Victoria to say something, but she just stood there with tears in her eyes. Heck, she didn't even know I was there. Arranged marriage! Is that what it is? We gonna make you marry another rich boy! You know, nothing says true love like a GPS tracker on your crush's phone. Who let him marry her? I went to the library. Suddenly, Victoria appeared and dragged me to the back of the bookshelf and said that she missed me. She tried to kiss me, but I pulled away. What's the matter? You're going to prom with me, right? Why don't you ask Brian instead? Babe, don't believe the rumors. It's not true. What do you mean rumors? I literally saw your father tell everybody at the party. Like, you didn't even ask why I wasn't even at the party. Girl, you fake. I'm on this dude's side. What is his name? Kyle? Caleb? How was he a main character if I don't even remember his name? And I told her that I had actually been there at her birthday party last night. She suddenly stepped away from me when some other students appeared. I walked away and ran out of the building. I just wanted to be away from her. She called after me and asked me to stop. I can't do this anymore, Victoria. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You deserve someone better. I love you, Caleb. I just need you to trust me and give me more time. It hurt to hear her cry as I walked away. I really believed that I had done the right thing. Dang, he really just walked away from that. Aaron left me casa just like that. Bye. I mean, they did say she was engaged. But did he get to keep the Porsche? Did he sell it? That's a lot of money right there. Yeah, you know what? I can't do this no more. I ain't really walked away. And she didn't chase after him or nothing? You know, this relationship had toxic written all over it from the start. I got another job as a bartender downtown. And one night, I noticed a familiar guy slouching at the bar counter. And I was shocked when he lifted his face. It was Brian. He told me that he'd come because he wanted to talk to me. I love her so much, bro. And I thought she felt the same way. And now, it doesn't feel right. Because I think she loves someone else. It really hurts a lot. But I'm finally letting her go. He patted me on the back and said, Take care of her for me. Hey, yo, bro. You could have her now. I don't think she likes me very much. She yours now. You know, this really takes some big D energy to just be like, Hey, yo, I love this girl, but like, she love you. Take her. And this was years later. Like, she don't forget. It was already four in the morning when I finally decided to pick up my phone and dialed a number. The soft voice answered, Hello? With closed eyes, I breathed in and said, Hello, Victoria. Wait, it's over? They just go leave me on a cliffhanger like that? So he just called her and that's it? Was it a happy ending or not? It was not a satisfying ending to me. What did you guys think? Comment below. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.